The Night of the Long Knives occurred in June 1934. This was one of the final acts Hitler took to consolidate his position. It followed the Enabling Act when Hitler already had the powers of a dictator. Surprisingly, the next threat to Hitler's power came from within his own party, the SA. There were a number of factors which led Hitler to, to order the purging of the SA. The SA were also known as the Brown Shirts and were becoming increasingly thuggish and violent. This was embarrassing to the um, image of the Nazi party now they were in power. Additionally, there were two million of them. Should Rome want to overthrow Hitler with his two million stronghold of men, he could. This was a threat to Hitler's direct leadership. Rome also um, advocated the merger of the SA with the German army. This would have completely alienated the German army, who did not like the SA. The, the army were a professional fighting force. The SA were thugs and bullies. Therefore, Hitler had to make a choice. He needed to keep the army on side. Should the army want to, they could have also overthrown him. So Hitler had to show the army that the SA were not a threat to them. Additionally, um, Hitler had some issues with Rome's sexuality. The Nazi party, obviously, was a, is a homophobic party, so to have a, member of the, a leading member of the Nazi party as gay created a lot of problems for the Nazis. Rome was also fairly left-wing in his policies, which Hitler completely disagreed with. As a result, Hitler arranged a meeting with Rome and a hundred other SA leaders at a hotel in, in, the Bavar in a Bavarian resort on the 30th of June 1934. This was all a trap. Little did the SA know that the SS, the black shirts, were waiting for them. The SS were origi originally Hitler's bodyguards. But they had taken responsibility for eliminating the threat that the SA posed. Over the next few days, various individuals who were threats to Hitler's position were also perched and killed, including individuals like von Schleicher. Hitler suggested that the SA in Rome were planning a revolution to take over the government, and he used this as an excuse for what he did. As a result of the purge, the SS, the Black Shirts, now became much more powerful. This greatly pleased Himmler, who was head of the SS. They were now established as a completely separate organisation, with Himmler taking orders directly from Hitler. In addition, Hitler had shown the army his loyalty. The army were now happy that there would not be a um, SA army merger. As a result, in 1934, following um, the de in um, August 1934, following the death of Hindenburg, the army agreed to swear an oath of loyalty to Hitler. This is significant as it was not an oath of loyalty to the country as the army would normally do, but this was an oath of loyalty directly to Hitler himself. He'd now secured their position, his position, by gaining support from the army, eliminating any potential threat that the S. S, uh, sorry, the SA had, and the SA grew in importance.